A first of its kind in Southeast Asia, a helicopter running on sustainable aviation fuel has taken flight in Singapore. Helicopter maker Bell has begun using this greener fuel in its demo, demo flights for corporate clients. This comes as more aircraft in the region are switching gears towards the cleaner alternative. New Wrong Way has more. Used cooking oil and animal fats mixed with jet fuel. That's what's powering this helicopter. Chopper maker Bell is starting to use this sustainable aviation fuel, or SAF, in its test flights for buyers in Asia. So far, feedback has been uh, really good. Uh, in, uh, we're seeing the same performance, in, and I think customers are satisfied that we're taking steps right to reduce greenhouse emissions. On board its maiden demonstration flight in the region. We flew around the northern part of Singapore. The pilot says the greener alternative does not change flight operations in any way. In fact, the slightly less dense fuel could even lighten the chopper's load. Fuel supplier Neste says such flights could also boost confidence in the safety and performance of the sustainable fuel. But going green comes at a hefty price. Though sustainable aviation fuel can cost three to five times more than conventional jet fuel for now, for this helicopter, a single trip on the greener fuel is expected to cut emissions by about 30%. But it could be ways to go before such fuel is widely adopted across the skies. We do believe that there are significant efficiencies of scale uh, available as we are scaling up the production and the supply chains of sustainable aviation fuel. But we do not expect that uh, sustainable aviation fuel would be uh, cost competitive or reaching parity with conventional jet fuel. But industry players say sustainable aviation fuel could just be an immediate short-term solution as technology evolves to further green the sector and offer more alternative options. In the longer haul, of course, the new novel technologies in terms of other new energy sources such as hydrogen and eventually you know, electrical aircraft, um, that's something that uh, the industry will be able to develop. This comes days after an international panel of experts recommended ways for Singapore to achieve its aspirations as a sustainable aviation hub.